a battery with this kind of energy density at $40 per kilowatt hour, that ends internal combustion. Internal combustion cannot compete with that. That ends coal. That ends possibly, probably even nuclear. It basically ends fossil fuels. And it's right about to be revealed by the biggest battery company in the world. CATL, the biggest battery company in the world. They've just revealed a new battery. Their sodium ion battery was already the best sodium ion battery that we knew of. It had an energy density, or it does, existing energy density of 160 watts per kilo. And CATL say, you know what, this battery is amazing, but they have a second generation, which actually has a higher energy density than BYD's Blade battery. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. Big thank you to our Patreon supporters. Really appreciate you guys and also YouTube members. Now, CATL, they have just revealed in an interview yesterday that they have a version two of their sodium ion battery. Their existing sodium ion battery, it has a, the same energy density, pretty much the same as BYD's blade battery. And the reason is because CATL sodium ion battery, it has the highest energy density of any sodium ion battery that is currently in production, the highest. There's about 10 different companies producing sodium ion batteries now. Some of them you probably haven't heard of. Some of them are bigger companies in China, but CATL has the highest energy density sodium battery. They are also working on a super fast charging solid state sodium ion battery as well. But that's another video. I did make a video on that battery, which is incredible. But CATL are not so bullish on that. The reason being longevity, they're still struggling to get longevity um, to really work. In other words, to get enough charging cycles to make it commercially viable. But this new sodium ion battery is on a completely different level. And the reason is because um, apparently it's a hybrid battery. It has a little bit of lithium in it as well. And so CATL are able to get the best of both worlds. Now, it's still technically a sodium ion battery. There's not a large amount of lithium content in this so-called hybrid battery. But what this means is that the energy density is 200 watts per kilogram. So the energy density of this battery is higher than BYD's Blade Battery Version 2, which was just revealed about a week ago, about two weeks ago, I think it was now. So the BYD's new Blade Battery is their highest energy density lithium ion phosphate battery. It's basically version two of the existing Blade Battery. It has a higher energy density than previous Blade Batteries, meaning our BYD vehicles in the future will have more range and the all the batteries will be lighter, one or the other. Really good innovation from BYD. So that's lithium ion phosphate. Up until now, sodium ion batteries didn't have anywhere near the energy density of lithium ion phosphate, but that's about to change. So this new sodium ion battery is going to be cheaper than CATL's existing lithium ion phosphate batteries and have a higher energy density. So this is amazing. I mean, BYD's new blade battery has 185 watts per kilo of energy density, but this new sodium, primarily sodium battery, has 200 watts per kilo energy density. Plus, it has some advantages that lithium ion phosphate or lithium batteries in general can struggle with, which is super cold weather performance. In really cold weather, LFP batteries, Elon Musk has confirmed this a new number of times actually, he says they can struggle. But CATL is saying this new hybrid battery, because it's primarily a sodium battery, in cold weather, it's barely affected. They say in temperatures as cold as minus 20 degrees Celsius, which never happens in most countries worldwide, that's really cold, minus 20 degrees Celsius, it, it maintains 90% of its battery capacity. So actually, it probably means it's better than a gasoline or diesel car in minus 20 degrees Celsius. However, the other big advantage here when these batteries are at room temperature, which obviously you can precondition your battery to get it to room temperature, but when they're at room temperature, the battery can charge to 80% in 15 minutes. Very fast charging. So this new sodium ion battery, which is, like I said, technically a, a hybrid because it does have some lithium in the battery, has some big advantages. It has the advantages of sodium batteries, which are really, really good cold weather performance that LFP batteries can struggle with in the cold. It's cheaper because it's using sodium instead of primarily using just lithium. And 
it um, has a very high energy density, 200 watts per kilogram. Now, if you think about it, the cheapest batteries you can currently buy on the market, mass manufactured, there are LFP batteries from CATL and BYD. Now, CATL said two years ago that their sodium ion batteries would eventually be 30% cheaper, direct quote from the CEO of CATL, 30% cheaper than their lithium ion phosphate batteries. Now, considering their LFP batteries are said to be between $55 to $60 per kilowatt hour currently, cheapest in the world, imagine if these new batteries were 30% cheaper than that. This would make Tony Seabelt once again a profit because he said by 2030, uh, there would be some EVs you could buy with around a 200 plus mile range that would cost $5,000. Now, what's the number one cost of an EV? The battery pack. The battery pack costs around 30% the price of the entire vehicle to manufacture. But if that battery pack price were to come down, it's already come down by about 50% of the past 12 months. But if it were to come down an additional, who knows what percent due to these new batteries, that would be a game changer. Now, whilst, so whilst CATL said that there would be a cost decline of 30%, that doesn't factor in the reality here, that the battery pack can be smaller now because of the increased energy density, meaning the battery is even cheaper again, 30% cheaper in terms of price, but if the energy density is 30% higher, then the battery actually becomes, you know, not far off being half the price again. So we're getting closer to that point in which it is significantly cheaper to manufacture an electric car than an internal combustion engine vehicle. The battery prices have come down so much and will continue to go down because of new innovations like this sodium ion battery. Honestly, my mind is just blown here. Basically, the biggest battery company in the world just revealed what is truly a game-changing product. I mean, they're saying as well as that, this battery has the life cycle of LFP. So the life cycle of LFP significant, very high energy density, higher than existing LFP batteries. It's cheaper, performs much better in the cold. I mean, what more else can you say without saying, uh, hang on a minute, how do we compete with this? How do you, it's like, imagine if McDonald's had the best burger you can buy in the world for the cheapest price. And, you know, 95% of consumers were saying, yeah, I've tried the burger, it's the best. It's the best for four different reasons. Uh, it's the cheapest. It's the best, it's everywhere. How would you compete with that? This is CATL. If you're not invested in CATL, I've been telling people to invest in CATL if they can now since I started the channel more than three years ago. It's hard to do though, that's the problem. It's tricky to invest in CATL, but if you can, well, I highly recommend you do it. Even the Chinese government says CATL has a monopoly on the market. That's a direct quote, by the way, from the Chinese premier himself. And now the monopoly is more than likely only going to grow. But at the same time, EV prices will come down. Battery pack prices will come down. Your experience with having an EV will be just insanely good. I mean, there's no way internal combustion can compete with a battery like this that pretty much solves all existing battery challenges. Thanks for watching.